I absolutely hate selling on Facebook Marketplace and I avoid it like the plague, but it's an excellent way to source new inventory as a reseller. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to bypass the Facebook Marketplace algorithm to get it to show you the latest products that were just posted instead of whatever Facebook Marketplace thinks you want to see. This means when something amazing pops up to flip for a profit on Facebook, you'll be the first person to reach out to the seller and you'll beat all other resellers to the punch. Check out some of the stuff that I've been able to score from Facebook Marketplace using this trick. So these these came from the free section on Facebook Marketplace. They are four Tesla wheel covers. Uh, I paid nothing for them. They sold for $150 and I ended up netting $102.55. Again, just because I was the first person to respond. Check out this video game lot I got on Facebook Marketplace in the electronics category using the same method. There's over 120 games here. I paid $450. The list value of all the games put together was over $3,500 and I ended up netting over time selling all of them for $2,100. $111. And check this out, this lot had a ton of good game titles in it, including Marvel vs. Capcom 1 and 2 for Dreamcast, that sold for $300 alone, and Game & Wario for the Wii, which sold for $160. And this came from the clothing category. I bought 187 pairs of Converse. I paid $1,300 and sold a bunch of these on eBay before shipping the rest off to the Real Real on consignment where I made almost $7,000. And check this one out from the toys and games category. This is a lot of a bunch of late 90s, early 2000s Harry Potter toys. There's over 100 of them here. I paid $500 and they had a total list value of $2,896. After selling it all, I made $1,426. Again, if I wasn't using this trick on Facebook Marketplace, I never would have found these, and I most likely wouldn't have been the first person to respond. So let me pull up Facebook Marketplace now to show you the problem with the algorithm and why you need to use this trick. All right, so I pull up Facebook Marketplace. The first thing I see is today's picks, and again, this is just the algorithm showing me whatever it wants, whatever it thinks I want to buy. But take a look at this. Here's a $2,000 for an N64 complete in box. Uh, let's take a look at this. Yeah, listed a week ago. So if I'm a reseller, you know, and I see this, if it's gonna be worth it for me to buy it, I'm gonna snatch it up so quick. If it's been listed for a week, I can already assume it's not worth buying to resell. And here's another one, Beats by Dre for 80 bucks. I click on it, look, listed a week ago. Again, just old stuff. It's definitely not gonna be worth buying for resale. And a Nintendo Wii for $100. Again, I click on it, listed a week ago. You can also jump into the categories. Let's go into the electronics category and see what they have to offer here. Uh, an Oculus MetaQuest 2, let's see about that. Listed 19 hours ago, that's a little bit better. All right, let's jump into maybe entertainment. Let's see what's in this category here. All right, I got a How I Met Your Mother, The Complete Season, listed four weeks ago. So that's very old. Hopping into the musical instruments category, we've got a bunch of stuff. Let's take a look at this keyboard for 60 bucks, listed three days ago. So again, this is basically just a crapshoot. Like whatever Facebook is gonna show you, it doesn't, you know, it's not gonna be helpful as a reseller. It's just gonna pick whatever it thinks you want to as a consumer, as a buyer. But you're a reseller, you wanna get the latest stuff, the stuff that's just listed. So instead, what we're gonna do is modify the Facebook Marketplace URLs. We're gonna change the URL parameters in these URLs so that we trick Facebook into showing us the latest products that were just listed in each one of these categories. So check out the standard URL when you click on electronics. You got facebook.com slash marketplace slash category slash electronics. We're going to add some custom parameters to the end of this URL which will bypass the algorithm and show you only the newest listings in that category. Don't worry, I've provided all the details down below in the description so you can easily copy and paste these parameters. The first parameter is to sort by date. You have this question mark, sort by equals creation, underscore time, underscore descend. This parameter is gonna tell Facebook to show the listings in this category sorted by the date that they were published with the newest ones on top. The second parameter is to exclude old items. So this days since listed equals one. This is going to exclude any listings that are more than 24 hours old, so you only see the freshest listings. And finally, this third parameter is gonna exclude all items that can be shipped. So you have this delivery method equals local pickup. So that's gonna exclude any listings that offer shipping. This one is helpful because I've found if someone is willing to ship something, most likely they know its value and they will have it priced higher. You can turn this off if you want or not, but I like to keep it on. You can stack these parameters in the URL by placing an ampersand in between them. And if you use all of them, your URL will look like this. So now you know how to do it. Let's see what I can find now using this method. All right, I've got a couple of these just bookmarked up here. So I'm gonna hit the electronics here and you'll see my URL has that automatically in there, all those parameters. Let's go ahead and see what they pull up for me. So again, this is everything in the electronics category that has just been posted. 
look, 10 minutes ago, I don't really want this scanner, but it was posted 10 minutes ago. And if I did, I would most likely be the first person to reach out. This one's listed 19 minutes ago. You see Insta360 One X2. I don't no idea if 300 bucks is a good price for that for resale. I'm guessing it probably won't be, but since it's listed 19 minutes ago, I can assume I'm one of the first persons that's going to be responding to this. Let's see, here's a double bike trailer jogging stroller for 100 bucks. It was listed 40 minutes ago. Again, no idea if that's a good deal or not, but it was just listed. Let's check out this bike. Uh, what is this, a Gary Fisher bike for 500 bucks, listed 30 minutes ago. All right, here's the home goods category. Let's check this out. I'll just pick randomly here. A baby Brezza, 140 bucks, listed 55 minutes ago. So again, I don't know if this is worth reselling, but uh, I would have been able to message them pretty quickly. So we didn't really find a whole lot of good stuff in my quick search right now, but I save these URLs, I bookmark them, and I check them pretty often throughout the day just to see what's popped up, and I found a ton of good stuff like this. So maybe you will too, give it a shot. So that's it, it's pretty easy. I've included all of these parameters down below underneath the like button that you can just copy and paste directly into a URL. If you like this video, you may like some of my other videos like how I manage my eBay inventory or how I use four simple rules to ship nearly everything through eBay. Thanks for watching, appreciate it.